Hi, this is Josh from Over the Shoulder Coding, where I help you prepare for software engineering interviews by guiding you through solving real problems. In this series, I will walk you through HackerRank's 30 Days of Code Challenge day by day. Before I get started on today's problem, I want you to help me out by answering a short survey to provide feedback on how this channel could be improved. Today, we're going to discuss a simple sorting algorithm called bubble sort. Imagine a glass of soda. Little tiny bubbles will form on the bottom or sides of the glass and float up to the top because they are lighter than the water around them. At a microscopic level, each bubble is passing by individual water molecules and comparing their densities to see if the air will continue floating upwards. This is what bubble sort mimics when sorting an array. In the bubble sort algorithm HackerRank has provided us, as you loop over the array, each item is compared to the next item. If it is larger than the next item, we will swap the two items and increment the number of swaps we've done on this pass of the array. If we pass over the whole array but do not swap any items, then we know the array is sorted and we exit the for loop. What HackerRank wants us to do to solve this problem is to augment the algorithm by keeping track of the total number of swaps done when sorting an array and to print the first and the last elements when we are done sorting. We already have a working bubble sort algorithm here, but it doesn't keep track of the total number of swaps since it resets the number of swaps on each pass of the array. So before we begin the first for loop, we will create a variable called total number of swaps and add number of swaps to it at the end of each pass of the for loop. Then, when the array is sorted, we will just print the first and last element of the sorted array by accessing their indices. I've translated the Java algorithm HackerRank gave us at the beginning into Python to help us get started. We will run the bubble sort algorithm n times because in the worst case scenario where the array is sorted in reverse order, we still only need to pass over it n times to reverse the whole array. In each pass of the array, we will start at the beginning and compare each element to its next element. So we will end the for loop at n minus 1. That way, we don't compare the nth element to the n plus 1 element and get an array out of bounds error. In each comparison, if the elements are out of order, we will swap them, and then we will increment the number of swaps. If no elements were swapped during this traversal, we know that the array is sorted, so we can exit the for loop. So how do we keep track of the total number of swaps done in this algorithm? We're going to implement a variable called total number of swaps before the for loop starts. And after each traversal, we're going to increment total number of swaps plus the number of swaps in this traversal. So we're going to print out three statements. The array is sorted in total number of swap swaps, the first element, and get the first element, and the last element, and grab the last element. All right, let's test out our code. Looks good, let's submit it and see how we did. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to fill out the survey. The link is in the description below. Make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll know when I post the next video. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click here to view the previous video or click here to view the full HackerRank 30 Days of Code Challenge playlist. If you want to see me solve other problems, 
please comment down below. Thanks, and I'll see you later.